Hello friend, welcome back. Sometimes it is very challenging to inspect the spill loader or bubble loader which used to load or appear when we open the website sometimes. Sometimes when we uh, click on any button and some uh, new page got loaded. So that's where it becomes very challenging to inspect such kind of uh, bubble loader, spin loader or just call, so called loader on the website like for an example let me just show you here let's say if you if we open twitter so you observe this kind of bubble loader they immediately disappear like as soon as you try to inspect them like one more example i can show you if we open linkedin you see that this kind of loader it immediately disappear so how can we inspect such kind of uh, bubble loader spin loader or loader because it is uh, like really impossible to inspect them by opening dev tools by inspecting the element uh, in a straightforward way the way we used to inspect other element so here we have this uh, feature in selector sub debugger feature with the help of that we will be able to inspect such kind of bubble loader let me show you how you can inspect such elements so what you have to do first just open the selector sub here i will show you the example with selector sub pro you can do the same thing with the free version as well so suppose here we have the selectors hub and what you have to do just reload the page and if you guys don't have the selectors hub or selectors hub pro what you have to do just go to selectors hub.com and from here you can install and get started it's very simple so uh, now here if we refresh the page you see that now you can again see this but as soon as we try to inspect that it got disappeared so how can we do that so what you have to do here we have this debugger feature by default if you will click on this it will start after five seconds but here the challenge is we need to start this debugger immediately as soon as that bubble loader uh, or that element appears in the web page because we cannot wait for five seconds so what you can do here we need to make this time from 5 second to 0 second so that our debugger immediately get started so click on this customize ui make this debugger start time in second which is 5 right now make it 0 and then come back here and now keep your mouse on top of this debugger icon here in selector sub let me just zoom in little bit keep your uh, cursor on this debugger icon and now refresh the page and as soon as we see the debugger uh, see the bubble loader we will click on this debugger button and it will pause that debug uh, pause that bubble loader element let's see refresh the page and click on this and now you see that debugger is uh, debugger has paused this bubble loader and you can just inspect using dev tools inspector you can inspect this bubble loader and here you see that it is showing that this is svg element so this way you can inspect such kind of bubble loader spin loader just you have to do two settings one is like uh, in selector sub make that debugger start time to zero and then refresh your uh, make that element visible and immediately click on the debugger again let me show you just close that uh, dev tools once you are done okay so let's say again we want to inspect that debugger uh, inspect that bubble loader sorry open dev tools open selector sub pro keep your cursor on this uh, debugger icon we have already changed that time to uh, zero second debugger start time so so we need not to do that again so keep your cursor on the debugger icon refresh the page click on this and you see that bubble loader is is stopped here and you can inspect them any of these so this way we can inspect them now let's just close refresh the page so you can do this let me so let me show you one more example on linkedin so what we will do uh, we'll try to inspect that so keep this open let me just keep it open first here and now i will open the linkedin here and as we have uh, restart time is already zero debugger is start time so you see that immediately i have clicked on debugger and then this is stopped here paused here basically and then you can just inspect this loader so you can see that this is the loader and we can inspect it and we can see all the selectors and everything got generated here 
so this way you can inspect this kind of loader as well so simple it is what you have to do just open the dev tools open selectors up here keep your cursor on this uh, like make that element visible in whichever condition that element is going to appear like if it is going to uh, that loader is going to appear on refresh of the page or on opening of the page or on clicking on some elements so make that element visible and then immediately click on this debugger like okay re on refresh this LinkedIn is not getting refresh and making that element visible so what we will do first we will open it here keep your cursor on this and now here we will open the LinkedIn website and that's where it will appear and we'll stop so this way you can see that it is paused and we can inspect this so this way you can inspect even this kind of uh, loader as well and do not get worried that you are not able to see that uh, debugger got paused or some like uh, shadow kind of thing generally which appears when debugger get turned on sometimes it is not getting appear so that's not an issue but this is how you can inspect such kind of bubble loader you have to do one thing make this debugger start time zero then make that element visible and click on this debugger icon immediately so this way you will be able to inspect any kind of bubble loader whether it's on twitter linkedin or any website your website any kind of bubble loader spin loader you should be able to inspect using this trick of slacker sub and if you get any question feel free to let us know in the comment section and if you ever not able to inspect any kind of uh, such kind of uh, bubble loader then feel free to uh, let us know on the live chat of selector sub website we will be more than happy to help you also uh, if you are new and you want to learn more about xpass selector such kind of tricks about uh, dom elements and all we are also giving our advanced xpath and css selector course where we have covered all such kind of trick tips and tricks you can uh, take the course from here for free also uh, like you know that you can open selector sub just by clicking on this logo here so from here also you can use this debugger feature but in that case you will have to keep the dev tools open always so that's the reason like i have showed you guys here so whenever you want to use the debugger feature i will highly recommend you use it in selector sub dev tools version not here okay with that thank you thank you so much